scientists catch a mysterious phenomenon of light flashing from a human eye onto the camera. Sputnik reports, many patients see flashes of light in front of their eyes during radiation therapy, even with closed eyes. And now these flashes have been caught on camera for the first time. A new study reveals that enough light is being produced inside the eye to cause these visual sensations known as Cherenkov emissions or Cherenkov radiation, the same effect that causes nuclear reactors to glow blue when they're underwater. Light is generated when the radiation beam passes through these vitreous fluids or the clear gel of the eye, according to the new evidence. Quote, our newest data is exciting because of the first time light emissions from the eye of a patient undergoing radiotherapy was captured, said Erwin Tendler. He's a biomedical engineer from Dartmouth College. He says, in this data, it's also the first instance of evidence directly supporting that there is enough light produced inside the eye to cause a visual sensation and that this light resembles Chernikov emission. Chernikov emission had earlier only been uh, had been only one of many hypotheses, and the team behind this new study used special cameras to image the system called CDOS, catching the effect on the camera. The patient study did indeed report seeing light flashes during the experiment, and follow-up tests on the pink eyes were able to confirm the composition of the light and identified as Chernikov radiation. Quote, our real-time data rigorously showed that the amount of light produced is sufficient to elicit a visual sensation, a topic that has been debated in literature. By analysis of the spectral composition, we also show that this emission can be classified as Chernikov light, again another contested point in the literature, and research has been published in the International Journal of Radiation Oncology, aiming to enable future radiotherapy techniques to be improved. For example, detection of Chernikov emission could be used as a sign that treatment has or has not hit its intended target. The scientists also saw a correlation between whether a patient sees light flashes and whether they subsequently experience any vision loss. Quote, although theories regarding direct nerve simulation, scintillation of the lens, and ultra-weak bioluminescent photons can be ruled out, it seems quite clear that Chernikov light production throughout the eye is quantifiable and it's significant. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on, not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today more of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.